fortunately for us, we have shortlisted countries like Australia, like Canada. These are the very, very few countries left that have a program like this skilled migration program to give you a direct permanent residency even before you find a job or even before you step foot into the country. So let's capitalize on it. Countries like UK used to have this program, but they have already cancelled it. So while these are still available, I definitely urge you to give it a shot. Not directly or necessarily, it also depends on which is the family member that we are talking about. If we are talking about a spouse, so for example, if you're a Singaporean and you have married an Australian PR or an Australian citizen, then it's a very clear-cut pathway for you. Partner visa is the way to go. But if you have family members like siblings, cousins, aunties or uncles who are in Australia, then there is no direct pathway for you because I have an auntie in Australia. The only benefit that you can possibly get is the one highlighted in red, which is the nomination by a relative. It gives you an extra 15, one five points, a lot, in your points test, but you can only apply through the 491 visa, which again is not a direct PR. It is a five-year provisional visa. You need to live and work in a regional area for three years before you can convert to a PR. Apart from that, you also have to make sure that you meet all the other skilled migration criteria in order for you to pass this program. So having a relative doesn't directly mean that you are eligible for this application. Now no, if you apply under a civil engineer, it does not mean that you have to work as a civil engineer in Australia. You can choose to do a career switch, you can even choose to have a short break before you, before you start working again. No, like how your spouse and kids probably make your life better, migrating with them will also be easier in the near future. Now why do I say this, okay? If you have a spouse and children and you do not want to include them in your application, they still have to satisfy medical as well as character requirements. Meaning that you still have to pay for medical, you still have to pay for police checks for your wife and your child. And subsequently, let's say two to three years later, when you finally decide to apply for them, let's say you apply for a spouse visa for your wife or for your husband, from a financial point of view, it really doesn't make sense because you have to pay just for a spouse visa. The government fee is Australian dollars 7715. That is $7,715 versus if you include your spouse in your current application, it will only cost you 2025 Australian dollars and 1010 per child. So from my point of view, definitely no. I will not recommend you to leave out your spouse and your children. After all, this visa is valid for five years. They do not need to move over immediately. You can move on the second year, you can move on the third year. So, so far, no particular reason why we should consider leaving out spouse and children. Yes, countries like Australia, they recognize uh, de facto relationships, meaning relationships that don't uh, you, that you're not married or same gender relationships. All these are perfectly acceptable. We just need to establish that you have certain documents to prove your relationship. Then we will definitely have it figured out for you. Unfortunately, not right. It doesn't mean that just because you work in Singapore or you are Singaporean, so it's very easy for you to migrate. This is a very common misconception. It is easy for you to go to Australia for a holiday if you are a Singaporean because of our passport. But when it comes to permanent kind of migration, especially for skilled migration, because it is very, very heavily reliant on your profile, your profession, just being a Singaporean or living in Singapore doesn't mean that you stand a higher chance and doesn't mean that it is easier. So everybody has a fair chance, okay? benefits are we talking about? If we are talking about education benefits, school for children, um, medical benefits, uh, working rights, all these are equal. I guess the only thing I can think about is probably you won't be able to join in elections and government voting. No, you have to plan it properly. 
Just on a student visa itself doesn't mean that there is a direct pathway to a PR. So there is no just because I hold a student visa and study there, that means I will get a PR as well. It's not like that. We have to plan it very well. So what are you studying? How long is your study? What are you going to do after your study? This is the pathway that you have to plan out properly if you intend to become a PR in Australia. If you are intending to take on a, an international course as an international student just for the purpose of a few points in, or for the purpose of migration thinking that it will lead you to a direct PR, please plan it properly because we often advise our clients not to do such investments for the sake of meeting a points test or for the sake of migration. The reason is because not because we don't want you to migrate but because Immigration requirements and policies, they change very frequently, sometimes once a year, sometimes twice a year. And if you are paying for an international course just for the purpose of this, we do not know and we cannot guarantee that it will have a positive outcome at the end. So the benefits that you get though, if you have already completed your study in Australia, you definitely have more points, okay? And if you have studied in a regional area in Australia, for example, South Australia, then you get additional points as well. Let me share the timeline with you. This is what the entire process looks like. The visa application stage that I have boxed out with is where your age will be locked in. So let's, let me give you a scenario. If you are turning, um, for example, you're turning 45 in the next three months, then we might politely reject your application because it's going to take at least 10 months to get to the stage where your age is locked in. So if you are on the brink of those age drop, points drop age groups, like for example, 32 going on 33, 39 going on 40, or 44 going on 45, then please take note and please take this into consideration and work backwards on when should you start your application. Being a company, we have direct contact with our Mara agent. So our Mara agent is in-house. We don't borrow licenses or anything like this. And this communication enables us to be in direct contact with the Department of Immigration. And what does that mean for you? It means that when it comes to your individual applications, when it comes to the status of your applications or changes, we are very, very updated and we are able to update you on your status or change if there is even a very slightest uh, amendment or adjustment that should be made or if there's even a very slightest change to your application. And this will definitely help you very much. As we give complimentary consultations to all our clients, uh, so far we have received very, very positive feedback on that. And the reason why we do that is because we don't know if you qualify for this program. And it just doesn't feel right to even charge a fee if we don't know what we are in for. So after a very thorough consultation, sometimes our clients decide to try the application on their own, which is good, which means I've given you enough information. But subsequently they come back either because they have failed the first stage or they find it just too tiring. On one hand, I'm very happy that my clients remember me, but on the other hand, you have already wasted at least three months of your time. So if you decide to give it a go, just do it once and do it right, just leave it in the right hands. I hope that the 10 questions above that I have answered are things that have been burning on your mind and things that you wanted to know about. As Singapore begins to slowly open up after our circuit breaker, I hope you mask up and stay safe and stay at home if you can. So thank you very much once again. Take care and don't forget to like our Facebook.